Hello guys. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the texturing of this particular stylish kitchen over here. So we'll be continuing the texturing part. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, I'll go over here, I'll select this polygons. And I'll assign the texture for it. So I'll just subtract this. I'll go into the material. So let's go into the material editor over here. And let's just assign this wood over here. So after doing that, I'll press Ctrl I that is for inverse selection. So after doing this inverse selection over here, I'll again go into the material editor and I'll assign a marble texture which I have downloaded. <coughs> so I'll take a V-Ray material and let's just name it as marble over here go into the bitmap and let's take this marble texture I'll go into the reflective properties for the marble and let's go into this and give a UVW map set it as a box So I'll go into this and I'll increase its height. I can fit that and we'll definitely assign a chrome or aluminium texture over here inside this if required. I'll just end isolate this part over here. If you think that the texture is stretching, I can use this option over here. I think looks much better now so convert to editable poly now let's select this part again go into this select the polygons <coughs> from the top go into the material and let's just assign that I think this looks perfect over here and let's just end isolate this stuff so I have just assigned this marble over here so now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll also give some glass texture over here that your colored glass so how we can do over here is like First of all, I'll just select this polygons. So let's select the polygons over here. So select this polygons. <coughs> all right. After that, go into the material editor let's give a V-Ray material so now what I'll do over here is like I want to give a green material so I'll just take a color over here and I'll click OK I'll go into the reflective properties over here Just click OK over here. Our glossiness, I'll <coughs> give it as 1 over here. So, Fresnel Reflections 1.6, Fresnel IOR. Subdivisions, I can just increase it to 8 as usual. Max Depth, I'll keep it as 5. And in the Refraction Panel, I'll go into this. So, your Refractivity. We'll set it as, alright, 
and let's just so glossiness will keep it over here as 0 0.6 for refraction panel <clears throat> and let's just assign this over here after that I can select the top part go into the <coughs> material so now <coughs> so we have assigned this colored glass so let's again go over here go into vidium material and I'll just give a white color to it and I'll give a bit of slight reflection our glossiness I'll reduce it and I'll assign this over here so now what else we can do over here is like we also have some kind of marble texture over here so I'll just add I'll add one swift loop over here so select this polygons let's again go into the material and let's just assign a marble and let's give again a UVW map and convert to editable poly so we can add a marble texture over here also on the wall section so for this part what we'll be doing over here is like let's select this whole thing go into the material editor for this wall I'll give a white color over here so let's just give a white color if you need some noise you can add a bit of noise if required so I'll just name it as wall texture so save your file once over here so let's go over here now for this step what I can do is like I can assign a chrome material for this particular tab <coughs> so let's assign a chrome material so for the chrome material what we'll be doing over here is like let's again go into the material editor let's just take a V-Ray material and I'll just give some color to it I'll go into the reflectivity I'll go till around this property and click OK over here <coughs> our glossiness I'll keep it a bit less Fresnel reflections I'll definitely keep it as on and I'll change the Fresnel IOR to I'll increase its IOR till 25 or 26 subdivisions I'll increase it and I'll keep this as 10 assign it so let's just rename it as chrome over here so I'll just rename it as chrome for this also we'll be assigning the <coughs> same shader over here for this select this part let's assign this same white texture over here you can select this particular area and you can also give UVW map you can just fit that if required much better Now, 
let's again go over here <coughs> select this So we can assign the same texture if required over here also. All right. So save your file again. So guys if you any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel. So if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section. And if you are not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe. So we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.